video i'm going to explain 8051 assembly language program to separate odd element sorry negative numbers in a given array so previous program we did we separated positive numbers by checking msb now we'll separate negative numbers in a given array it's not the same program so stop debug instead of positive numbers now i will change this one to the negative numbers i'm separating all the negative numbers so negative numbers are one which uh, msb is actually one so for this what you have to change is instead of jb change this one to jnb remaining things are same so you have to rename it as negative array size is one and take the size if msb bit okay msb bit means seventh bit okay seventh bit of accumulator is set then the number is if j and b okay move are not 30 move r1 is equal to 50 move r2 is equal to 5 move r uh, move a comma r not means take the data to the accumulator now check accumulator seventh bit if not bit okay if no bit that means if uh, seventh bit is zero then it is a uh, it is a positive number so you have to skip it else you have to move okay if the seventh bit is one next then the number is actually positive so you have to skip else you have to transfer that negative number into or not okay so i'll build this target again give five datas okay five data same five datas i can give which i given for the previous program 5689 56 double click and you can modify or you can give right click and modify the data and continuously give five datas or individual you have to double click and you can enter the data 56 20 89 60 And last one, F4. Okay, these are the five datas. If you want to check 10 datas in the register R2, you change this one to the 10. Okay, don't type H. Directly give decimal 10. Don't type H. If you want to give H also, 0AH, you can give. Okay, now with five datas only, I'm checking. I am separating all the negative numbers here. How many negative numbers are there? The algorithm is you have to check MSB is 1 or 0. Okay. So here you see the representation of sign magnitude representation for 8 bit. MSB 7th bit MSB represents is dedicated for sign. If it is 0, positive number. If it is 1, negative number. MSB indicates whether the number is positive or negative msp1 means negative you can see all negative negative minus minus zero means plus and uh, remaining seven bits are zero 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 to one 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 zero 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 means zero only seven ones one 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 seven ones if you convert into binary to decimal it will become 127 so the range of positive number is zero to one plus 127 and uh, here also this one 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 means negative uh, minus zero to minus one twenty seven. Okay, so MSB decides whether the number is positive or negative. LSB decides the number is even or odd. All the even numbers LSB is zero. All the odd numbers LSB is one. Similarly, the sign number MSB zero means it is positive number. MSB one means it is negative number now uh, you have to check one by one so more or not is 30h more or one is 50h where we have to store all we have to separate all the negative numbers and store it in 50h r2 is equal to 5 which indicates five data are there in array take the first data to accumulator check the seventh bit of accumulator we have taken first data this is to the accumulator we are checking the seventh bit in the accumulator again it is uh, 56 means uh, uh, 
uh, msb is zero so it is a positive number so no need to transfer to the 50h because we are separating only negative numbers into the array so it should skip now jump if no bit because now it is no bit now that bit is zero so it will jump to the label skip it's jump to skip label now increment r not to get the new data which is there in 31h increment now it has become 31 now decrement r2 because five or data size is five array size is five so five times you have to repeat if it is not equal to zero jump back to the label back take new data to accumulator again check seventh bit so next data is actually uh, 89 in the 89 the seventh bit is one if it is no bit then it will skip else it will transfer that the accumulator content to r1 so in 50h that value 89 will come you can observe in the memory window so 89 came here 89 we 89 is separated as it is negative number it is moved to the separate memory okay next increment uh, r1 also because next data if you don't increment it will replace it in the 89 position only so increment r not decrement r2 if it is not equal to zero just jump to label back again take new data to the accumulator check to seventh bit next data is uh, 98 again 98 msb is one again is also negative number so this also should be moved to the next location so 98 observe in the memory window one 98 is coming next increment r1 so that next data will be stored in 52h okay decrement and again take the new data which is the new data 36 in 36 msb is zero so no need to transfer so just skip it will jump to the skip again increment or not take that new data that is f4 in the f4 uh, we have one in the msb so we have to transfer that to the array new array so here f4 also came and now increment r not and decrement r2 r2 becomes now zero only if it is not zero it will jump to the label back now it is actually zero so it will go to the next line which is short jump to dollar short jump to the same line okay so it will uh, stay here only so now we can check the output here initially what we did in the you have to write in the record both okay before execution you have to write uh, these are the five data in the 50 zero no data sir and the output after execution you have to write uh, these five data here and in the 50th location you have to show separated uh, negative numbers in this location okay so 89 98 and f4 are negative numbers because msb is one okay seventh bit of all eight bit data are actually one year for 89 98 and uh, so, so these are actually separated okay so similarly you can give different datas and you can verify thank you